Hi, I'm Walker Vreeland, and welcome to Treading Walker. Something is not right. It's always gonna be something on the time. It's always gonna be something. No matter how I be child, it's always gonna be something that's just right. Well, I'm walking dead out seven days a week. I do not look at me, make it me these wings. Keep spinning out of the show. Swimming up the path on the tip of the teeth. I'm living full throttle and out of the way. Well, I might as well make sure I'm not taking this for. Well, cause I'm going down to the liquor store. Well, I'm going down to the liquor store. Oh, I gotta get, 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 get me some more. And I'm always gonna be something. Something that's not right. It's always gonna be something all the time. It's always gonna be something. No matter how I be child, well, it's always gonna be something that she looks like. Hello and welcome to Treading Walker. I am your host, Walker Vreeland, and we are here with the owner and general manager of the Share House Beach Restaurant and Lounge in Napig, Jacqueline. Bercielli. Jacqueline, welcome. Thank you. Got my last name right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Off to a good start. So how's the summer treating you Summer's so been far? terrific so far. Um, the hospitality and warmth of the Hamptons community has been amazing. Um, we're off to a good start. We opened three and a half weeks ago. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And it's just great that we have people like you coming out and supporting us. So looking to keep the momentum going. Well, I would uh, ask you if it's busier this year than it was last year, but this is relatively new. The restaurant business is relatively new for you. It is. It is. You yeah. were in the legal world Took a big before leap. this. Yeah. yeah? I um, worked at Cooley LLP, a law firm. I was a law firm manager. Um, manager of a training recruiting department. So I used to recruit attorneys to come work for us. And uh, I was doing that for about eight years. I lived in Manhattan for eight years as well. And uh, decided I needed to change. And I wanted to come out here. I've always wanted to open a restaurant. Now something. Tell me about your connection to the East End. The East End, yeah. So I grew up in Long Island, um, in Bayville, on the, the North Shore. Um, and used to come out here all the time as a child. Loved Montauk, loved the East End. Um, I have a Montauk sweatshirt that my mom still hangs up for me in my room. This little tiny thing says Montauk on it. I Aww. love Montauk. <laughs> um, since being out here, it's very comforting um, part of my childhood, and it's just so nice to be back, back out here. Now, why did you walk away from the the legal profession and into the restaurant yeah, business? Yeah, I couldn't the crazy... be behind a desk anymore, uh -huh. which is, you know, it's one busy to another busy, but this busy seems to me, fits me a lot better. Um, you know, you're on your feet 24-7, and it really is a full-time job. Yeah. yeah. It really is. Um, but it's it's great. It's been um, it's been a whirlwind, but it's been it's, it's been really good. And I wouldn't look back. I wouldn't change it for the world. What have you learned, what have I learned? so oh, far? Good. <laughs> what has it taught you? What has the restaurant oh, business taught you? Um, always keep smiling. No matter what you do, what you're doing, who you're talking to, mm -hmm. um, even if it's you know all an act, keep keep now, up the happy appearance. Well, yeah. that's I think easier for some than others. Of, of course, of um, course. But you know, it seems that it suits you. I mean, dealing with people. Yeah. Um, you know, creating an experience, creating a dining experience. experience. Yeah. Just rolling with things. Just, I mean, that's the yeah. biggest thing. Um, at a law firm, everything is planned, everything is um, kind of set up for you, you know what your day's going to be like. Here, it's a little bit different. You don't know what you're walking into every right. day. Right, yeah. You know, if there's something going on in the kitchen, you have to take care of a customer, you just kind of got to roll with it. Yeah, have always have unpredictable. Days. Always, right? Mm -hmm. If the food order doesn't come or your deliveries don't come, yeah. plan B, go out to IGA, pick up a few things. Now, had you ever worked in the yeah. restaurant business before? I have, I have. Okay. Um, you know, I was a hostess, server, um, bartender for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Never, Never owned one, which is completely different. Um, but, uh, you know, knowing how to serve, I guess, and having a background is really helpful. Now, what do you love about 
this place, Share House. Share House. So Share House is modeled after a summer vacation house for adults. Um, so basically, we want to create an all-inclusive, welcoming experience for everybody. Um, and I just wanted to be a place where people can kind of hang their hat, let loose. Um, there's no pretense here. Uh, we have a ping pong table in the back. Um, we let you carve your name into our tables. <laughs> Who doesn't love I that, know, right? I know. We had a senator here the other day. Um, he's actually running for Senate. He's like, can I carve running for 2014? I was like, absolutely. <laughs> um, so I mean, I where think, else? I can't I can't think of another restaurant out here where yeah, you can carve, carve your, your name, name into the furniture. Right. In the and you can leave your mark. And, you really can. Um, you really literally. Can. Literally, leaving your mark. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's been great because people have been coming back looking for their table. Even though it's only been three and a half weeks, people are like, this is my table. This is at the share house. So oh, that's you know, it's really just a, it's a experience, I think. Um, we also have a fire pit out back. Um, so in a few weeks, we'll be getting some s'mores going. Um, now, I was talking to your partner earlier, yes. uh, and I was enjoying the fish tacos, oh, if good. I may say, good, and the good. hummus plates, okay. both of which were <laughs> delicious. Good, good. Uh, but she was saying that, that you might want to stay open a little later than the summer, I maybe do. through October. I do, I do. And put that fireplace to, to good use. Yeah, so our fire pit, and then we have an indoor fireplace as well. Um, and we actually have heat, so it could work. <laughs> if you have heat, then right, why right. not? And because the town response has been so great, um, a lot of the musical acts we've been bringing in um, has a big town draw. So um, getting the locals in here has been a big thing for us. So if we can get the locals to kind of keep this place up and keep the momentum going year round, I think we have a shot. Well, yeah, um, and Ken Morsch and Ryan Hiller were both so wonderful so this evening. Yeah, so great. And having people like there, uh, like them here, just really helps a lot. What um, is your favorite dish on the menu? Favorite dish? Um, I know you said fish tacos, but I really like them. They are good. They're kind of becoming our signature dish. Um, so we were at the Taste of Two Forks event um, hosted by Bobby Flay a few weeks yes. ago. And the tacos, we couldn't keep them on the table. Um, you know, they were flying off. I was actually the sous chef that day, so I rolled 750 tacos with wow. my with my chef. Um, and the response has been great to the tacos, and I I love them. It's um, Alaskan cod with a sriracha aioli, um, and avocado cream, uh, lettuce, tomato, and cilantro. So it's kind of a perfect little bite all in one taco. Delicious. Mm -hmm. And what about your team? Because you know, I think that a restaurant, it really, it's the people that make. Absolutely. The restaurant, Absolutely. right? Yeah. And, and there's so many. I mean, it, I've worked in restaurants before. Yeah. Um, I was a terrible waiter, <laughs> really, truly terrible. But I, I Not. always felt like uh, it, they were inter restaurants were interesting places to be because mm -hmm. you have people from all walks of life. Oh my goodness. And just interesting people. We have one bartender graduated from Tufts, is super intelligent, can hold a conversation with anybody. And when I walk past, he's always engrossed in a conversation about like literary history or art it's just it's, it's really cool um, you know you see all different types of people here and everyone has a story everyone has a background and it's really kind of putting it all together to create our product mm -hmm. so when you put all these people together um, it somehow works well congratulations thank on you. your opening and Appreciate thank you so it. much for speaking thank with us so today much. thanks Walker <laughs> I've been here with the Jacqueline Bercielli she is the owner and general manager of the Share House Beach Restaurant and Lounge here in beautiful Napig. <laughs> I'm Walker Vreeland. This is Treading Walker. Thanks so much for watching. Just what you are to me God sends the 
rest my soul So I am grateful That I could find My I tried and true So to every morning's a new day Every night I kneel to thank For the guidance and grace Which I have come to know Through a woman's love Sun was never my thing, and neither was dancing in the rain. But we got love in the fifth degree, and we got everything we need. Oh, we all rise, cause we shine bright, and maybe we slide, we are glide. We tried, tried and true, so baby, we slide. Welcome to Treading Walker. I'm your host, Walker Vreeland, and we're here at the Share House Restaurant and Lounge in Napig with our guest, Ken Morsch. Ken is a singer-songwriter, a guitarist, and he has performed all over the East End. Ken, welcome. It's good to be here, Walker. So you are from out here. You grew up out here, is that right? Yes. And when did you start on the guitar? Um, when I was about 18 years old. Um, I went to a, I, I went to college, and my older brother's a real buff guy, and he said, you know, Ken, uh, you got to do something when you go to college. You either got to start working out or play Dave Matthews songs. So right. I chose a guitar. That's late, though, to start. I mean, 18 years old, and you have such technique. It's Im very impressive, considering that you started so late. Thank you. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. Now, how would you describe your music? Would you say it's alternative? How would, you, how would you describe the genre? Um, well, I play all across, you know, when I cover music, but for my own original stuff, I, I like to say it's kind of like a, like a neo-soul, like a retro kind of feel. I mean, I love R&B, I love Motown, you know, the classic Sinatra and stuff. And, you know, I, I really try to keep my roots in that kind of stuff when I play. Yeah, you know, you remind me of John Mayer a little bit, but jazzier. 
Thank you. And actually, sometimes, uh, Michael Jackson. Have you ever gotten that before? I love it when people say that. Really? Um, it's true, because it, you've, got that, you've got that falsetto. Thank yeah, you, thank it's you. great. Now, uh, talk about songwriting a little bit. What, what is your, your process? Do you have a certain formula? Um, well, I started going to college at Five Towns College in Dix Hills. Um, and I went there for jazz composition. Um, I ended my musical kind of career when I went to a CW Post. Um, I watched one of the videos on your website. It's called uh, Crazy Finger Style Guitar. Uh, that's just incredible. What, and you, and you, never, you never took any lessons? No. At all. How did you teach yourself? Um, well, I watched on uh, YouTube a couple of these really talented guys. YouTube? Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm a terrible jazz player. Okay. So, you know, I figured that I may as well try to be good at something. And I, I kind of have a knack for it, I guess. Yeah. here uh, for events and parties and yes, weddings yeah. and yep yeah we do private events weddings funerals <laughs> I haven't got one of those yet but yeah I'll do funerals as well um, if someone is interested uh, how can they uh, get in touch with you um, well you can visit my website which is www.kenmorsch.com okay. um, you can also send me an email kenmorsch at gmail.com and uh, my phone number, 7025000, it's a real number, I swear to God, even though I get calls to the Southampton Police Department like every other week. 7025000. Yep. Now everybody number. knows. Yeah. So what's what's the plan for you? Will you stay here? Will you go into the city? I mean, what if you could paint a picture of the perfect career, um, what would it look like? I, I want to be a, uh, I want to be a ghostwriter, professional songwriter just in the background. Yeah, really? Oh yeah, I love it. Well, you're definitely talented, and I see a very bright future ahead of you, and uh, 
Wish you the best. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And you're going to play something for us. Yes. Yeah, I have a couple of tunes. I have uh, another fingerstyle guitar uh, tune, which I want to play for you, and uh, another original, which is called In My Bed. So uh, I hope you enjoy them. Fantastic. Musician Ken Morsh, I'm Walker Vreeland, and you're watching Treading Walker. Something I 
never hear a nigga by. I am writing love songs of you in my arms, my hero in a love of mine. The 27th of July, you whispered, I suppose. You wanna hold me closer and breathe in love Breathe in us Take this moment, hold on And don't let go There's only now Tomorrow comes in time But every day brings a change of heart Your flush on 
remember that river cousin ace I guess you struck dumb luck So I'm thinking of Molly My Molly's fine and pure She's like an angel Got me coming back for more So my uh, Molly Can I have a taste of your white skin? When will this trip again? Doctor said it ain't gonna end Said son you're tripping to your white skin when will this trip again is it ever gonna end